Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 of Argarian Skies 2. It's a beautiful Sunday and I am going to play a lot today. I'm going to have a lot of fun here. I did a lot of changes around the island this morning. Whoa, this guy just grew. Awesome. Um, and I see a weed here. So rake and right click, you get rid of the weed. Wow, and instantly a new one spread. Okay. And then you can just replace it again. You always lose that one crop stick, but that is fine. So I wanted to, you know, start making the island, well, A, flat. I'm tired of all the up and downs and not knowing. So I tore down a lot of it. Got a ton of blocks in this chest over here. I mean, tons of stained clay and also the hardened clay, which is nice. Don't forget, that's the one you can also stain if you want to use with a different color. But I don't really want to waste any time on this yet um with you know making it look pretty so i just made it safe and even and that way it's going to be easier for us i would like to set up an animal pen today i'm going to need a lot more dirt for that to see if we can get some passive animals to spawn and one of the main things i want to get into today is crossbreeding and upbreeding especially and i did a lot of tinkering with that and i believe now i fully understand how agricraft works now to give you a little background here, the first time I used AgriCraft was in Regrowth. And they, Regrowth AgriCraft is different than apparently from this regular AgriCraft version. So if you guys remember, usually when in, in Regrowth, when you upgrow, you have your starting seed right there. And then you just keep upgrowing, right? One after another. And then when it's at the end, you have it. That's in a straight line. You can, of course, also do it in the field um but how it works in regular agricraft is that you can spread seeds this way okay if i if i start with one uh wheat and i just want to multiply my seeds you know make more seeds you can do it this way and it keeps the same one this one have will have the same number so let's say this is a 111 this is a 111 this is a 111 because they're not actually cross breeding they're just up breeding or multiplying let's say and I, I left it like this right now to hopefully be able to demonstrate how the actual crossbreeding works okay right here I started with the first seed and I spread them to these two so these two because they're both coming from the same parent I'm gonna call this I'm gonna have the same numbers okay and if I spread this to over here this one will also have the same numbers than this one and the same with this but right here in the middle when i do this this is going to get most likely it's not guaranteed new numbers because this one can now become a crossbreed between this and this so let's say these are both ones this could become a two all right and then the same over here now this is a triple so this one right here really did i just run out of crop sticks <laughs> i should have prepared that oops you guys see I have a ton of um, wood now because I've been doing all different woods. I did acacia for a few rounds and I did um, birch for a few rounds. And then I also did one time a jungle tree because I got the, I think it's called the exotic seed from sifting. And now I switched to 2x2 two two spruce because, well, it's just the most wood and my dirt i'm pretty much making from rotten flesh i'll show you guys in a second so now this one will become a cross between these two this one cross between these two oops that was not smart but i can bone meal it to get it back to mature and this one become a cross between these two so that's awesome once you get past this hump right here because these first two will always spread from that one um you know you get past that and what I've been doing, uh, this looks like it's a weed. Okay, get rid of this. And I can, I always, I use bone mill a lot. I, I use bone mill like crazy. But, you know, this farm over there is so effective, it's nut balls. Um, and let me show you guys. Um, first of all, when I was breaking a ton of gravel and sand and dust and so on with the hammer. Nah, well, I didn't break dust, but I cobble a gravel into sand and then sand into dust. I started down there and then just walked backwards and placed the blocks to about here. That's half a stack. And then hammered it all the way down. And when I got over here, there was always mobs back up. 
and look how many mobs there are every time endermen are are so abundant it's it's crazy um and let me just kill these real quick because hey i didn't have a single creeper blow up yet nothing so if you guys built the same one you should not have any problems the hatchet leveled many times and also the pick i'm not even no not the hatchet the maddock i'm sorry i'm not using the hatchet anymore because well the maddock can do everything and it does more damage and check this out um i put a chest over here because i didn't want to carry all this stuff with me back over to the house every time look how many ender pearls we have this is nuts i used at least a stack and a half of bones and multiple stacks of rotten flesh and i can actually bring some oops what just happened what wow that was weird did i just dupe arrows somehow what i, d I don't know i i didn't pay attention um yeah, let me just leave one here. It doesn't matter. So I take always this rotten flesh. Sorry about that. I got confused there. I don't know what just happened with these arrows. And it takes, I believe, 10, right? Something like that. And that's how I've been mostly making my um, dirt. So now what uh, I also got did a lot of sifting. Let me show you guys this. Um, right here, we got we even got an achievement for the charge Surtis Quartz. And so I did, I think... Two stacks of gravel, I did one sack of stand and one sack stack of sand, wow, and one stack of dust. And these are all the ores I got. I already used some iron because I made two sets of shears already for leaves to boost the production in the beginning, but I haven't made some in a while. And this is all the stuff I have ready. I got enough to make a bunch of grout today so we can set up a smeltery. I really want to get into that. I also hooked up some stones so we can do that uh, mortar and pestle. And I just finished making some glass. And of course, I kept on top of... I also used the basil whenever I had more than 32 for composting because I don't see any reason to keep that. And let me clean up this stuff here real quick. So no reason to carry this around. I'll get the ladder again later when I take down um, the, the tree. But for now, we just keep it like this. Okay, so I also did complete a bunch of quests. Um, not on purpose, like I said, they just happened. Um, this one right here was because I made the shears. So we, of course, got the four broken iron ore easily. I made that gravel out of it, broke it down to get the crushed iron ore from the sand and then also from the dust. And then I, I smelted the dust to actually make the shears. And... I didn't claim this yet, so I can claim this reward, get a little more iron. And this one completed because I was on top of getting all the moss stone and also making moss balls. Um, I have one moss on the pick and one moss on the flint. And this one actually, on the medoc, I mean, this one we actually got for free. I didn't have to put that on there. And I also put one on the hatchet. So that is all there and good to go. Now... Earlier, um, uh, in the comments, I found Sebastian Misch, I believe, was the person that recommended it. And I thought it was a really good idea because um, he mentioned that, you know, we don't know what version you're playing on. It would be really helpful um, to know what version you're playing on. So when you play along, he mentioned, for example, that in the newest version, you cannot make seeds out of wheat and so on. And I did update uh, today. To the newest version and uh, from now on in the beginning of all the videos i'm always gonna have on the bottom right a short overlay of what the current version is i'm playing i'm gonna do that for regrowth and also for here i think that's a really good idea thank you very much for that and the update didn't cause any problems but the quest book was reset so i went through the quest book and caught up to everything and the only big differences i found two differences in the quest that we've done so far this reward here, we only received one last time. Now you get three. So I destroyed one and kept two and used them for the inventory slots. And the other one is right here. You get a watering can now. Before we only got the seeds, but now you also get a watering can. And that is why I have that. I also kept that. Everything else, I did not notice any difference. 
Um, let me hmm, put this in here. That's fine. Okay, so we got this completed and this completed. And today we're going to work a little bit down here. But I have something else. Where is it? Oh, yeah, down here. Mob Hunter. Completed three from just the farm over there. I got 10 creeper kills and we're gonna get spawn blitz, a bag or half a heart. And I said whenever there is a heart as a choice, I'm gonna take that because, well, you know, if we run out of lives, that's it, series ends. So I wanna make sure that this uh, keeps going and I'm already 95% uh, back into second time turning it in. And brainy zombie. Apparently, I completed this one. Kill brainy zombies. And it's I must have just hit that because I didn't see that earlier. Cool. So we got all this. And you know, you got to kill a lot of other stuff here. Like, you got to kill 30 pigs, sheep. And it's kind of nice because you get these flea flux things. This one here seems to be a boss in the nether. So that's going to be a long time. We got to kill blizzes. Two of them. And we just got two bliss spawn eggs. So... All right, let's put these. Oops, they don't go in here. I want to keep them with the other spawn eggs. So my plan for today is I'm going to keep growing crop. I, I'd like to get the ones that we have up to 10, 10, 10 before I make any new ones. But in order to do that, I really want to make this seed analyzer today. Where is it? It's under Sky Farm. So I can actually take a look at the seeds. And we cannot make the agriculture journal because I believe, oh man, I took everything out. I had everything prepared. I, that's what the stuff was. I need one and two. And where did I put the slab? Right there. Oh yeah, and I needed a glass paint. Let's make that. Um, we need a feather for the journal and we only have four eggs, which I am gonna break later when we when when we have the animal farms ready um there we go now we get a seed analyzer and yeah i think this is as good as any let's just put it right here for now and how this works is let's turn in the quest real quick oh, we can't we need the journal so let's just check here real quick that the recipe didn't change oh it did change four of any seed i'm glad i checked so we can make this now. Very nice. So we got, of course, let's take these four seeds. And we got the crop sticks. I just need one plank. Oh, that's really cool. So we can make that. I'm glad to change that recipe. I am not sure what uh, was the problem, but I restarted the game. I spoke with people in IRC and I said it worked for them. I asked in... FTB curse and also an hour IRC and each and said it works for her so It did not work with the artichoke when I put in the regular wheat seeds again like we had initially and There it is now we got our agricultural journal and you just put that in here and now every time um, Let me get all my seeds out here real quick because I want to work on all of them anyway um, not I, this is a different cactus seed. Um, in case you're wondering, by the way, um, how you can plant the cactus on the crop sticks, you need to put the cactus seed in here. This is the one you get from sifting, and then you can get the AgriCraft cactus seed. Um, just leaving them the way it is right now, so they stack in case I sift more. And brown mushroom spores, grass, I don't think. I could identify these. Yeah, why don't we do that? For a second, I can also start up growing those. These are all one, one, one. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, analyze all these real quick. And um, let's see. Um, da -da -da -dum. And then I'm going to break this wheat field, um, analyze all these, and then I show you guys what the highest wheat is that we have so far. All right. I only harvested the wheat field and the cactus so far because, well, this chest is already getting full with all the seeds I'm not going to keep. So I want to get rid of these first before I, you know, harvest the rest over here, which still needs to upgrow. Let's bone meal this so I can actually keep this going. Bam. All right. And also you. 
and this one is gonna be one two one two one two one two and how we're doing over here so this is what i'm gonna spend most of my sunday on i'm just playing this little mini game here i'm actually enjoying this a lot um doing all the different crops and so on but the highest ones we got is uh, the wheat seed is at three four four and the cactus seed at three four one so what i'm gonna do now is well actually you know what why am i yeah that's fine i did make it clockwise so i'm gonna put this wheat back here and then instantly bone meal it so it goes up and then these can go keep going and i'm gonna do the same over here for the cactus up get it grown and start the spreading again and you just gotta keep your eye open in case well this one is already ah see now they this is what i was waiting for if this is gonna work or not whoops i used the wrong one never mind scratch that <laughs> i thought i was using bone meal and i couldn't anymore but it does let me i had the crop stick in my hand so now what are we gonna do with the rest of the seeds we're gonna put them in the uh, x nilo barrels to make us dirt Ooh, it takes a lot of seeds that was 21 24 26 27 28 so i'm guessing it takes 32 seeds per so let's see i think 30 all right a couple more i mean it's it's very slow making the dirt this way but hey i don't know what else to do with the seeds so i'm gonna use them for this um because i have a lot of time right now to actually find a place where we can make the passive mob spawner okay i did keep the highest artichoke by the way that i had in the chest so don't worry um because we haven't started that yet now the problem is we are when you check f3 we're in an ocean biome let's see what we got out here i never really checked i wonder if this is ocean as far as the eye can see we might be unlucky i don't know um but i'm gonna guess not somewhere so what i need to do is you know like break right here and then make a slab path as far as the eye can see keep my eye on the biome because we're gonna have to find a biome that is not ocean um mobs don't spawn in ocean river beach or desert biomes i think those those are the vanilla biomes i don't know um i think we only have vanilla biomes here i don't think that we have any other ones so i'm gonna go ahead and make these paths and see if i can find something and keep up growing and so on and then i'll show you guys the progress um and i'm also whoops before we go um i want to work on pumpkin seeds pumpkin seeds are going to be really important so that's going to take a carrot seed and a potato seed to make that um but i'm gonna wait first that's a weed get rid of it get out of here um but i'm gonna wait until i have a 10 10 10 potato actually what did i say carrot and potato yes until i have a 10 10 10 of both of these because when you crossbreed them um i believe it's gonna be a 10 10 10 pumpkin so then i don't even need to upgrow it so i'll check back with you when i find some biomes and possibly made a new platform for the smeltery somewhere and then we'll continue I just wanted to give you guys a quick update in between. I finally found the biome. Um, at first, I went out this way. This is two stacks of slabs, 128 blocks from there. And there was nothing, just ocean. Then I went west, also 128 blocks. And all I found out there was a deep ocean. <laughs> and then I went this way. And about, you know, halfway there, I found Stone Beach. And I kept going, and then I found uh, Extreme Hills Biome. Right there at the border is the Extreme Hills Biome. And I made a platform now. It's 19 by 19, so we're going to have 17 by 17 spawning area. And I just put uh, half slabs underneath, because if I start placing down the dirt or something, and I misclick, I want to make sure that... Oops. Um, you know, I don't lose the dirt. I don't care about the half slabs, but I need more wood now. I'm completely out of spruce um to make you know more planks for the the wall around it and then i would also like to make a fence there just so you know what it's safe i don't want to risk it but that's going to cause a lot of um wood um and of course i'm still on top of the breeding um but i didn't spend i should say breeding the 
the crops and stuff. Um, and why am I using a 19 by 19? There's a mob cap of 15 creatures in a 17 by 17 area. Um, at least that's how it, it used to last time I checked in vanilla Minecraft. And you just need a light level of 9 and all grass. Um, in the extreme hills biome, I don't think we are high enough to get snow. I believe that... Well, I don't know if that is in 1.7 or if that is in 1.8. At some point it was changed so that when you are... You need to be at a certain height to make... Only got one sapling back. They're still fallen. I don't use crooks anymore. I, I get tired of it. <laughs> well, I still have one sapling, so that's good. Maybe... I'll just get to do more sifting or whatever, but that's fine. Um, so I don't think we're going to get any, oops, any snow out there, but it is possible. You know what? I'm going to just take a crafting table. Actually, I have a crafting table right there. I'm going to take this guy with me out there so I can make this on the go. And, um, but here's the thing is that I don't know if we're going to get blizzards to spawn. Or if they also need a certain height or cold level. So if you keep your eye on the minimap, we're still in ocean and now we're in stone beach. And then as soon as I get to over here, it's gonna turn into. Hello? Ah, the minimap just takes a minute to update. But right here, stone beach, and then we step into extreme hills, which is the entire platform is extreme hills, right? Let me double check. Oh, there's stone beach here. Dang it! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Mm-mm-mm. That means I probably need to get this plat down, platform even further out. Well, that sucks because that means I'm gonna lose a lot of these planks and I need to cut more trees. But that's fine. I gotta do it. So I'm probably gonna pull the platform out from here. So that way I can get all this into extreme hills. I figured out I might leave this over here because... Um, Somebody wrote in the comments that passive mobs are aggressive here. So I want to make sure that maybe I have a, you know, a kill area over here. So I can maybe use a, lay, a lead or maybe later on. Uh, do we have a um, uh, golden lasso in this pack? Yes, we do. Which is quite expensive to make. Uh, but we have almost everything. We still need to blaze powder make this i don't think i have any blaze powder no but yes i do we i think i do from sifting something i'll check anyways just wanted to give you guys a quick update and i'm gonna keep building here and then like keep this front section here like for kill area and i'm just gonna keep extending the platform further back um and then take it from there all right i just planted that one spruce sapling and it got a real bushy one and i got uh, seven saplings back so i'm happy about that and the platform it's pretty much done just the, the the floor and then the extra layer of wood with the fencing is done and one strip of dirt is inside and i was just harvesting the crops and stuff when this uh tree then um was in my way it was like all the way to over here it was a real like it looked like a christmas tree kind of spruce i don't know if you guys have ever seen those but if you have then you know what i'm talking about and i wanted to do this quest here the mortar and pestle because it's been sitting there for a while and i think that now we need to make a flower so why don't we i'm almost out of food anyway let's make 32 flour with that so oh no this is the pam's harvest craft never mind i i i was for some reason thinking of that i can just bake that into bread but i can't i gotta make dough out of it which requires salt and the likes so let's just make one flower for right now so we can turn in this quest i get 16 bread a quarter of a heart or a bag Ooh. um wait a second didn't we yeah we have i never combined these let's go ahead and take this one what oh my goodness you guys remember that, that the quest book was reset? And then I had to do HQM quest? 
Uh, yesterday we had six lives. I remember that. All right, let me let me do this. Uh, HQM hardcore. I have five left, and then I believe there is a command. Well, uh, because I destroyed this other heart that we got from a quest reward earlier, because I didn't think of that. I need to enable this one also. So, ah well, too bad. Now we're back to six. And I was thinking that because this is a quarter of a heart. Please tell me that this did not reset again now. Okay. Because this one gives us only a quarter of a heart. I am going to take the back this time. Let's risk it. And I'm going to cook this up. And let's open this bag. I have room a little bit. Let me get rid of the wood products here. Just so I have some room. In case, you know, we get some super reward. You gotta be kidding me, right? That sucks. Ah oh, well. Too bad, so sad. Got two watering cans, and I am gonna leave this guy with the food. Okay, and the other quest I wanted to do, you guys probably saw it a minute ago, is this one right here, the lumberjack. I wanna see if this guy can maybe, you know, harvest wood for us, so I don't need to do this anymore. And stone chopper right there it's this recipe oh i'm gonna need uh three more let's just make this guy first hey another top uh, achievement nice and i'm gonna need three more cobble all right and two stick so we can make that stone axe bam i'm gonna have to look into I believe there's some command or something where you can add lives and we did earn that life that I am missing now so I don't mind giving us that one all right so here's the stone chopper now in the book it's a little bit funny written no that's not it you're probably very tired of chopping down trees luckily once you have some redstone and a bit of stone redstone why do I need redstone in a bit of stone, you can create a machine that will use Tinker's Construct tools to chop trees, place saplings, a hatchling, and fuel in the machine next to the block, next to a block of dirt. The chopper will plant a sapling, wait for it to grow, and chop it down. It will collect saplings and wood drops. Okay, so let's get the charcoal, and let's get our hatchet from here. And let's get saplings. Start with four and see what happens. So it says next to a piece of dirt. So bam. Well, actually, what happens if I plant this in the middle? I want to let's put it in the middle and see if it's going to plant them all the way around. So fuel, axe, saplings, hello. What? Oh my god, that just scared the living hell out of me. I thought it's burning them. So this is east. Okay. So yeah, this machine, just like probably the, the whatever thingamajingy it's called, only works to the east uh, by default. One block away. So we're going to put this again. I lost the charcoal, but I don't care. Okay, so this does this. Let's bone meal this. And see how fast this fella is. Okay. We got one sapling back. Two, three. That's pretty nifty, actually. I like this. So I can, you know, just stand here and... What happened? Did you just chop that down? I mean this is this is cool. I like this because now I don't I don't need to do anything. I just stand here and bone meal. Um Well so far we have a surplus of saplings. Okay, let's turn this in. We get 16 cooked salmon. That is cool. So I tell you what guys, I am this I just you know I don't want to continue with the smeltery and stuff because I still have to set up an area for that. And I said that I want to continue with the crops and the dirt. Uh about the dirt. Here's something I was thinking about. Um, let me 
cut all this down here real quick because these seats are getting higher now and it's going to be the same here very soon with these are finally done over here I'll, I'll i'll spread this in a second and this gave us 34 wheat um and how many wheat does it take i i cannot i can never remember let's just see here real quick um these are waiting for the seats so 34 so it looks like 13. you know if i have four fields over here all with 10 10 10 wheat soon hopefully and i just keep harvesting and making dirt i think it's going to be the fastest possible for me to make dirt um or even just having a 10 10 10 by itself bone meal bone meal bone meal take it over and so on so i'm i'm gonna work on making dirt and i'm not gonna tune in again until i have all the dirt for over there so i can place this grass seed and then we'll see um where we're gonna put the smeltery but i'd like to set that up today also Wow, many hours have passed since this last cut. I've been playing most of the day today. I got a lot of the grinding out of the way, and but I think I was able to show some of it in this video. You guys can probably get an idea in case you're not playing this pack yourself. But, you know, the crop and so on, they take me a long time, and especially making the dirt. Um, but to show you something real quick, how overpowered this watering can is, especially in combination with bone meal i still have some on me um but you see that all these are mature so you can just put the double sticks and then you just use the watering can and watch how fast this spreads um we got one weed here and that's nice with the watering can i guess because you can you know really be on top of it and once they have actually spread to what you want them to be and i um, seem to have very bad luck right now there we go and there we go bam it's spread so there's no more waiting with the watering can and then you can just keep watering it or for example if you have a lot of i still have lots of bones you know you could just upgrow these let's see if we have enough this one is mature and this one perfect and then next one so you can you can i didn't think of this way of doing it until i already had the wheat at 10 10 10 and stuff but now all the other crop is super easy I and mean, you see how fast you can spread this and i got the wheat carrots potatoes let me see here real quick um yeah wheat potatoes carrots cactus and lettuce oh, oh i forgot to upgrade the artichoke i gotta do this you cannot uh, put these in a barrel to make dirt, by the way. That's why I have so much lettuce sitting here. Um, and the other thing is, check this out. Um, when you harvest all this wheat here, these are all 10, 10, 10. It's going to give you a stack or a little bit over a stack. I'm not sure. Sometimes you seem to get extra. In this example, not. And then you can just stand in the middle of this field with your watering can and keep turning. And in just a few seconds, you're going to see fully grown ones again. There we go. There's the first one already. And it just keeps going. You, if you stand here like this for, I think earlier I did a five minute test. I got eight stacks of wheat. And that is what I've been using to make all the dirt. So um, you guys also notice maybe that uh, the game looks a little bit different. I installed texture pack again. Um, I forgot to actually start in the beginning of the series to do that. But I, I like to look a lot better this way. And in case you're wondering, I am using base roll 32 as the top one. Because I like their retexturing of all the vanilla blocks, just very clean. And then this time around, I decided to try out Jada Cat's mix pack. I figured, hey, she makes the mod pack. I'm gonna try out her texture pack, her mix pack. And I really like the way the barrels look. In that's from from the Jada Cat pack, crafting station, all the tinkers furnace. It looks very nice. I I like it. It's very clean, but it's not vanilla. Which I I mean I like vanilla, but I think this looks better. So. What else have I been doing? I I added a couple more plots here, um, and I'm not gonna fill in the dirt until, or sand or whatever needs to be there until I actually have something to plant there and I know which way I want it to be laid out. And I was trying to get pumpkin seeds over here, right, with spreading uh, carrot and potato, and I couldn't get pumpkin for the longest time, right? And then all of a sudden, I believe, um. Sorry, no, I got the pumpkin. 
And then I wanted to see what else I can do with these. And then I found out you can also get red bead. Um, but you need to put a second dirt underneath. There needs to be two dirt. Um, when you check in the in the in any eye, let me show you guys how that looks like. Um, that's not it. Where's the there it is. When you click on this to find out how you make it, you see here it needs a dirt below, so that needs to be too thick. And so I tried to go for that, and then all of a sudden I got parsnip also, right here, which is the same way. You you spread it by these two, and it needs to be too deep. So that's pretty cool. And then of course over here is the same thing. In order for it to grow, you also need to have a second layer of dirt underneath. So that's what I did over here. And yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up for that. And then I made some hoppers and just automated this a little bit. I also made a Java barrel just so I can drop off the seeds easier or the wheat and so on. It just automatically feeds it. Only have one barrel, um, but it is fast enough. I, I made many stacks of dirt. So now, before we set up the smeltery, oh, by the way, let me um, let me grab some bone meal real quick because I should want to show you guys something. You can trick this this stone chopper into it. I don't have that much bone meal anymore, but that is fine. Um, check this out. You cannot when when I try to put a two by two right now here, um, yeah, like this. I can bone meal all I want. This will not grow, okay? And I think it's because of the stone chopper. But what we can do is we can take this down. <laughs> and I just tried this out. Oh, there's a two by two now. Um, so that's quite big. And let me just break this down so I get back there. And then you put down the stone chopper and give it the axe, the sap, links oops it used them and does it have everything it's chopping it will take down the entire two by two um so that's what i did earlier and once i have a, a slime ball or a rubber i want to see if i can put a sticky piston there so i can simply pull the chopper back um bone meal the two by two and then push the chopper back so i don't need to pick it up every time but i am doubting that it will let me do it but it's worth a try, so once I have a, um, a slime ball, I will go ahead and try that out. All right, so now, um, let me get rid of this. The rest of this stuff, I'll need in a minute. Okay, cool. So, I filled all this with dirt and then used that one grass seed that we had. And then the watering can to spread all the grass. And then after 10 minutes or something, I came back and there's a ton of animals. But only sheep and chicken. I haven't seen anything else and they are mean they're all mad hostile you don't need to do anything they just spawn hostile watch this as soon as I get close they hit me so I'm gonna have to figure out a way here of how to make it so I can maybe you know sort them or something or maybe get a golden lasso going and then somehow figure out a way on how I can shear these guys without them attacking me pick up the eggs and so on and then later on I think um, the biggest one is gonna be milking the cows so well we got animals right now I can't pick up these feathers and eggs sometimes they're over here and then I just wait and then you know they sh um, shed their feathers and then I can just run along here and pick it up most of the times But yeah I think it's pretty funny these guys these guys are mean all right um, if you guys have any cool ideas on how we could set this up let me know but it worked out and supposedly there's a 15 animal cap, but this is at least 18 the last time I counted. Um, so I don't know if we can get more than just 15. And for some... Oh yeah, the last layer it does not take down. Um, you got to cut this by yourself. Um, I'm not sure there is some reason for it. What? Oh, we do get basil. Interesting. Okay. So I leave this. Okay, and now the other thing is, I want to build the smeltery over here. Uh oh, the fence burned up. Okay, I'll, I'll figure out where I'm gonna put this lava production here. Um, I moved the the crucible from over here to here, and I put lava underneath it, so it's a little bit faster. And I got four and a half buckets of lava in here. 
also made an iron bucket so we can start filling this so let's go ahead and set this up i have extra um seared bricks and i really like the the texture pack for this i i really really dig it i think it's great and this time we're gonna be short a little bit um i wanted this to be one higher all right so we can do this right now i gotta cook up more more bricks more grout and stuff but for now we can still use it but i can't automate it hmm no i want to automate it definitely i don't want to have to mess with pouring the ingots so i'm just gonna go ahead and um fill in underneath here the hardened clay into the hole so it's actually standing on the surface all right i just filled in that hole real quick so we can place it on top I really wanted it to be in the ground, but we can't do that until I can make more seared stone. So we can add more layers to this. Whoops, I should have left this so I can place something against this. Like that. And, yep, then we come over here. One, two, three. You guys have all probably set up many smelteries before so i'm gonna need one more okay um and well guess i need to do it like this and then i can move the controller here but oh, that's the drain i really like this texture pack how how they look it looks really cool i like it all right so i need to make one more and there it is right there bam cool now this is functional and we can put in lava very easily from right there and i'll figure out like i said um how where i'm gonna move this so it doesn't burn the fence down anymore and now i'd say we start right away we have i don't know i guess we could um mm -hmm -hmm. no we're just gonna make the ingot cast for now that's all we're gonna do today there's an aluminum brass ingot i want to get that going and put that in here so we can at least make our ingot cast today and then we set up the semi automation here in a minute now let's turn in this quest oh we actually got a bunch of quests learning the sky block this one i forgot earlier but when we did the mortar and pestle this one obviously completed because we have the slab furnace for some, quite some time and we have a bone crook which looks like it's enchanted and a reward or a reward bag I really don't care about the bone crook, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that bag. And we got a quarter of a heart. Okay. And we also have in Sky Farm, because we made the agricultural journal, but I never turned it in. Pick one. I'm not gonna take the trophy to unlock the slot because there's so many achievements still coming that I am not worried about, you know, not unlocking everything. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. And we also completed Tinker's Toys now because I made the tank, controller, a drain, and some bricks. And we're getting a gear cast. I never used that. Um, interested of what that is going to be for. And I kept this one here because now we got to make a casting table. Let's go ahead and make that guy right, uh, right away. And also a cast and casting basin. There's this. And the basin. Now this quest should have completed and this is cool getting the slimy sapling that's really nice and two more aluminum brass ingots so now this wants us to make two iron ingots which i'm sure i'm gonna complete between now and then because i'm gonna you know try and do smelt up as much as i can oh wow we're getting slime oh no those are slime bricks i don't i was thinking of the crystals Okay, and we also completed Storage Wars because I made a barrel. And we're going to get one structural MK1 upgrade. But I'm not going to make anything else here until next episode. And I think, yeah, Mob Hunter, there's still something down here. Two of them. Because running back and forth, you know, to the mob farm, we killed more zombies, get another emerald. And then here we get another shard. So that's cool. Let me put this away and this. And I'm going to take care of the sapling later don't need you and um we also put this away 
this I'm gonna put here for a second so I just want to empty my bags in case you know there's a really cool reward or something like that and we can put the quarter heart down here and the bucket I don't need it right now also put this in there just so I got some room and let's open these bags 16 fish jerky all right not impressed and two copper or berry bushes me don't care copper is not going to be an issue and let me put the food in there well actually i'm going to start eating those okay so now let's set up the rest of this automation and then we can make our ingot cast so i want this right there so we're gonna take these two out and i did not bring a chest let's go pick one up um really i don't have a chest all right let's just make one bam let's make two that's good enough and i'm will probably move the tinker's um table uh stencil table and so on out here somewhere uh maybe not sure yet um just to give you an idea i want to keep this bungalow i don't know if i mentioned that earlier the way it is this hopper is pointing into the chest by the way so you gotta place it against the chest i want to keep this bungalow there where it is and that's going to become our kitchen area um i want to use that Ooh, i didn't make any faucets um so in here is going to be all our food stuff and then you know some some ovens or furnaces and then possibly you know the press and the squeezer or whatever whatever we need in the future to make a lot of food and i want to keep that all in here so i like this bungalow so i want to keep it the way it is and put this guy right there and him there i'm not going to automate the blocks because only thing i will most likely use this is to uh, make like uh, tinker's construct glass okay so now on top of this we gotta jump up here and also place a torch right there just in case we're going to put yeah we need to make it first i wish i could make a back door in here but i can't break these blocks yet um it just it doesn't look like it lets me break this okay we need to make one redstone torch bam and then we put these in the corner this guy in the middle and like that and that is extra utilities clock and that ticks mm, i think once a second or something like that and when you give it a redstone signal you can disable it but what i want this for is to sit on top of the faucet and that will now make a pulse and of course i messed it up so now i have to do this again the smelting <laughs> um and now it's off it will not automatically drain and it cast us a blank cast so i have to put that in again to smelt it down so we can make our ingot cast okay now it's smelted back down and now we just pour it over here and that is it cool we got our ingot cast and i'm sure that was used yes so now what i can do is you know i can between episodes do a lot of sifting um I'm going to do all three of them again. I'm going to do gravel, sand, and dust. Mostly gravel and dust and just a little bit of sand just so we get more, you know, certus quartz and so on. And I'm going to start, you know, smelting a lot of this down. So for next episode, we have a lot of ingots ready and um, hopefully redstone. I have not gotten a diamond yet, so I'm still waiting for that. We got four emeralds though. Woohoo! and you know this redstone most of this redstone glowstone is from the from the mob farm and we can make an eye of ender and so on so we we are doing really good um i know today's episode was kind of all over the place with the crops and the animal farm and exploring and smeltery but it's just we gotta do this um to get going but now we have a really nice foundation flat island that is safe Lots of XP and drops, and we got our smeltery set up, so next time we can start, hopefully, with some machines and so on, and see where the quest book gets us. I always try to do quests as much as I can, but, you know, I have somewhat of a, of a plan of, you know, I'd like to get these machines going, for example, an Igneous Extruder. I don't need to worry about Cobble Gen then anymore, and then next is, you know, Pulverizer and Basic Power and so on. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think about the texture pack. I really dig it um it makes it look very smooth and clean but still nice and otherwise i'll catch you in the next episode 
Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.